Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and today I wanted to do a video on how to cover up acne with makeup but then I was like, man, if only I had some acne to cover up. I know my skin is currently freaking out. I changed up my skincare products. I wanted to try something new, you know, to review for you guys and I think it's making my skin worse instead of better. So it's kind of backfiring all over my face right now. I will probably do a skincare update video soon. But for now, in the meantime, this is where we are. So today I'm going to show you how to cover up all the acne that you might be dealing with. Or if you don't have acne, then I hope you're watching this just to boost your self-esteem and appreciate the clear skin you have. So let's just get started so I don't have to look this crazy for much longer. And we're going to start off with a primer. Now I'm going to be using my Cover FX primer. This is something that I just recently reviewed on my Foundation Fridays video if you guys haven't seen it. But this is their mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment. So since I am dealing with my acne breakout right now, I want to use something with salicylic acid in it and it's actually in this primer. Granted it's only like 1% but hey, it's better than nothing, right? I'm just going to push and smooth this into my skin. I literally was supposed to take a new passport picture today and then this guy showed up and I was like, no, we're not about to scare the international people of the world. Primer is set and now we're going to do some color correcting. Color correcting is definitely a thing and I have a bunch of different concealers that I've been wanting to try. So we're going to experiment today. So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Color Corrector Green Concealer. So if you've ever seen these that are like green, purple, red, you're like nobody is green. Like are they making colors for aliens now? No. But what the green does, it counteracts the redness on your face. So I'm going to be using two different colors today. I'm going to be using green for the red marks on my face and I'm going to be using red for the dark spots like my scars. So let's go ahead and start with the green and you're just going to apply the green onto any parts that are red. So for me that's kind of like my entire face. I guess I could zoom in at this point. Okay exhibit one. All of my current breakout right now. I know it's pretty it's pretty scary. So I'm just going to dab some of this on all the red parts. Alright, just a couple polka dots and we're done. Acne's covered. Thanks for watching. Beyond Gr just kidding. Just kidding, just kidding. We're gonna keep going. Now grabbing a damp beauty blender, I'm now going to just slightly tap this just to kind of blend it in as much as green can blend in. See how it kind of just chills everybody out? Now we're going to go in with a orangey red color. The darker the red, orangey color works on darker skin tones. If you have lighter skin tones, you still want to use a red, but you can use like a lighter peach color. It doesn't have to be like this intense. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. These are like a couple bucks, so affordable, and I'm sure the Wet n Wild one is as well. And I'm going to apply this to any dark scars because the red is going to cancel out the dark brown color. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and color correct these dark circles too. Let's get rid of all the darkness. All right, now that it looks like I have some type of crazy rash and disease, we're going to blend this in with our Damp Beauty Blender once again. Okay, now my face is color corrected. I know I look crazy guys, just, just hang on, we're, we're gonna fix everything. So now let's move on to the foundation. When dealing with acne, it obviously is good to use a foundation that is doing something for the skin. I did just review the Cover FX foundation. This is their new power play, and this is supposed to actually help 
clear your skin and have a bunch of really good ingredients. And so does the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. Bare Minerals is known for all of their really natural ingredients. And this is another one to deal with if you have very sensitive skin. If you're looking for a drugstore type healthy foundation, there is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. Um, this is supposed to be skin transforming, has sunscreen in it, and it's supposed to make your skin better as the week goes on. Another one that I don't own is the Neutrogena Foundation. I think that also has salicylic acid in it and it's supposed to help clear acne as well. That one didn't have enough coverage for me, but probably gets the job done. My Bare Minerals Pro is kind of too light for me now and my Maybelline Super Stay is too dark for me. This is my summer color. And I just did a video on the cover fix. So I'm actually gonna go back in time to one of my favorite drugstore foundation that really gives me great coverage, which is the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. This is literally like five bucks and definitely became my favorite drugstore foundation. But I wanna show you how much coverage this baby gets and I have really oily skin and it keeps me mad all day. So let's zoom back in. I used to be warm caramel, but then my winter shade is now natural beige, but this one might even be too light for me, but we're gonna try it. I might have to mix it, we gonna see. So using a damp beauty blender, once again, I'm going to apply some of my foundation and just, just watch, watch this coverage, all right? Covered, gone, wow. <sighs> We're getting to normalcy again. I think I do wanna mix this a little bit with my darker shade because I'm kind of at an in-between color right now. It actually is okay to go a little bit darker when you are dealing with acne because it helps cover it up more because it's a darker color. So I'm going to just kind of dab this one in here and make it a little bit darker. Now three dimensional acne is obviously the worst. I would much rather just have scars because it would be easier to hide, but we're gonna do what we can. We're gonna do our best, but I think this guy is kind of here for the long haul. Okay, moving on, now we're going to highlight. Now the only tip I wanna give you guys when highlighting is don't highlight your acne. It's not going to be the highlight of your face. We don't want it to be glowing. We don't wanna add any more attention to it. I am using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan Sand. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and finish my brows and I'll be right back. That's better. Now I'm going to blend in the concealer. There we go, and now I'm going to set my face with my Laura Mercier setting powder. And for my final skin setting step is going to be the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. It's a powder foundation, but I kind of use it like as a setting powder. This is the color Medium Tan. I also have a video all about this one. And I'm just going to set everything. I don't know, I still wanna get rid of this one on my forehead. I'm gonna try to get some more of this powder with a flat brush. See if I can kinda pack it on there. Hmm, that actually might be working. Maybe I'm just seeing what I wanna see. <laughs> so now I'm gonna finish my eyes, blush, contour, all that jazz. Oh, now we're talking. So now that I've added my eyes, my contour, my lips. Oh, the last tip you could do to help cover up your acne is to add a highlight. I just got to share, I got the most amazing package from Becca this morning. Look at this. All of their highlighters. Oh, so beautiful. So I'm just going to take a new color out of here just, you know, for fun. So I'm grabbing the Becca highlight in the color Topaz. Haven't tried this yet, but we're gonna do it together. Tap some of that on there. 
try this. Ooh. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. So the goal here is to blind the person you're talking to with your highlight. That way they don't notice your acne because they're literally blind. Now the absolute last and final step, I'm going to grab my Urban Decay De-Slick Setting Spray Oil Control. Now this is a good thing to have if you're a little heavy handed and you kind of like caked your makeup on there because you're trying to hide everything and it got a little too cakey, a little too powdery. This will help break it up and make your skin look like skin again, but not the acne type of skin. I just also learned that the Urban Decay is made by Scandinavia and they make the best setting spray ever. So it makes sense that this one also is amazing. Shaking it up. So there you have it. That is how I go from this to this. Now, obviously it is good to let your skin breathe before all the makeup police and YouTube dermatologists come after me. I know I don't want to hear that. The only reason I have acne is because I wear makeup. Well, one, many people wear makeup that have good skin. So that's not necessarily true. And if you are somebody with severe acne, you know how hard it is to physically leave the house and go out into the world with a face full of pimples and scars. It's very damaging to your self-esteem. You become self-conscious and you just feel like everyone's staring at your acne. Even though I'm very covered up right now, I still feel like when I talk to somebody, their focus is gonna be on this guy right here. So yes, if I don't wear makeup as often, it's probably for the best. But because of my job, which is literally to review products on my channel, I have to wear makeup. Now, unless you wanna pay me not to wear makeup, I mean, then I don't think you need to worry about it. But I mean, I will accept Venmo, PayPal, and Apple Pay. I just wanna show you guys that it is possible to cover up extreme acne, to be able to go out in the world and feel a little bit more confident, even if it's just for a couple of hours. If you enjoyed this video or learned a thing or two, I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm so close to 200,000 subscribers and I'm really trying to get there before my birthday, which is May 3rd and it's coming up. So if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And as soon as I hit 200K, I'm going to be having a huge giveaway. So make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee so you can enter to win a bunch of free makeup and or hair products. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.